This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I center the Gizmo 3D to my model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo head here loaded in. And the question is asking about the Gizmo 3D and how to center it to your model. So to start off, let's just first cover how to activate the Gizmo 3D. So you need to first make sure that you have a model that is in edit mode, and then you just need to come to the top here and click either move, scale, or rotate. Now, after you click one of these options, you also need to make sure that the Gizmo 3D icon here is activated, and then you should see the Gizmo 3D appear on your mesh. Now, the Gizmo 3D is a universal manipulator, and this will allow you to perform move, scale, and even rotation functions to your model. Now the question is asking about the Gizmo 3D and how to center it to your mesh. So above the Gizmo 3D, you have a series of icons here. And one of these icons is this lock and unlock icon. So if you click this, this will unlock the Gizmo. And then if you perform any actions on the Gizmo, you'll be able to move it and have it be detached from the model. So I can take the Gizmo and move it off in the space over here and then relock it. And now when I perform any move, scale, or rotation functions on the Gizmo 3D, it's going to be doing it from this point in space over here. So if I have the Gizmo 3D out here, and now I perform rotation, it's going to rotate from over there. So if I wanted to change where the model rotates from, I could just unlock, reposition the Gizmo 3D, lock it again, and now it'll rotate from this position. So after you've moved the Gizmo 3D to a new location, how can you get it back to the center of your model? So one option you have to return the Gizmo back to the center of your mesh is to click this icon here that is called Go to Unmasked Mesh Center. So if you click this, it'll return the Gizmo 3D back to the center of your model. Now this works well as long as you can see the Gizmo 3D. So let's say with the demo head here, I zoom out a little bit and I have them over here and then I unlock the Gizmo 3D and I position the Gizmo way out in space. So let's say I wanted to rotate the demo head from a position way over here. So I position the Gizmo 3D out here and then lock it. And now if I perform that rotation, it's going to rotate from way over here. Well, now let's say I did my rotation, I'm happy with it. And now I go back to my model and then let's say I start sculpting on it. So I sculpt on his head a little bit. And now I want to perform another Gizmo 3D action. So I'd come up here and switch to move, scale, or rotate, which would give me the Gizmo 3D. However, I can't see it. And this is because it's going to remember the position of where it was when I moved it way out into space. So in order for me to recenter the Gizmo 3D back to my model, I need to be able to click that button. And since that button's on the Gizmo 3D that's now out in space, I can't do it very easily. So to do this, I'd have to zoom out and then maybe locate it somewhere way over here and then click that go to unmasked mesh center and that would return the Gizmo 3D to my model. So that is a little bit tedious. So there are two other methods you can use to take the Gizmo 3D from wherever it is and bring it back to the center of your model. So the first method is that there is a button that correlates to that go to unmasked mesh center icon that was on the Gizmo 3D. And this is located in the tool palette. So if I navigate to the tool palette over here and then go down to the masking area, there is an option here called go to unmasked center. And this is going to perform that same functionality that we were getting when we clicked that icon on the Gizmo 3D. So if I click this button over here, it's going to return the Gizmo 3D to my model, no matter where it is on the canvas. And this button here is going to perform the same functionality as this icon here on the Gizmo 3D. So this go to unmasked mesh center lives on the Gizmo 3D, but it's also available over here in the tool palette under the masking area and it's this go to unmasked center. So if you find yourself repositioning the Gizmo 3D quite a bit by unlocking and moving it around, you can bind a hotkey to this button here. And then when you press that hotkey, the Gizmo 3D will return back to the unmasked mesh center of the model. Now, another functionality that's pretty handy with the Gizmo 3D and having it position itself is using the alt key and clicking while the Gizmo 3D is active. 
So as an example of this, I'm gonna come to the tool palette here and I'm just gonna select this cube object. Now the cube object here has been rotated in 45 degrees, so it's not facing the world axis. And let's come up here and select the Gizmo 3D. And now let's say I want to reposition that Gizmo 3D to the center of this mesh. So I could once again go to the tool palette and click the go to unmasked mesh center, which will bring that Gizmo 3D back to this area here. But I can also, with the Gizmo 3D selected, hold down the Alt key on my keyboard and then click on a surface of my model. And this will take the Gizmo 3D and then position it off of that surface normal. So you can see as I held Alt and clicked, it has now taken that Gizmo 3D and it has aligned it with the surface normal of that mesh. So holding Alt and clicking will take the Gizmo 3D and it will align it to a surface normal on your model. So this is also very handy if you just wanna quickly bring back the Gizmo 3D to your mesh, you can just hold down Alt and click and that will return the Gizmo 3D to your model. And then from here, you can press the Go To Unmasked Mesh Center, which will return it to the unmasked mesh center of your model. Then you can unlock it and reset the orientation and then lock it again. And now your Gizmo 3D should be in the middle of the cube here, and it should also be aligned to the world axis. So now I can come through and perform a rotation and rotate it back so that it is camera facing. I can then unlock and reset that rotation again. So now it is aligned back to the world. So once again, if you are using the Gizmo 3D and you find that you have unlocked it and moved it way off into space somewhere, to get it back to your model, you can either come across the very top of the Gizmo 3D here and click this Go To Unmasked Mesh Center button, or you can navigate to the Tool Palette, go to the Masking Area, and click Go To Unmasked Center, or you can hold down Alt and click on a surface of your model to bring the Gizmo 3D back into view. So I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!